All right, guys, I've been looking online and looking on YouTube and stuff like that, and I uh, haven't really found any good videos covering the Ranger VX series. Uh, there's a couple of ones from the dealerships and stuff like that, but I just want to kind of do a quick video just to do an overview of the vote. Um, this is a 2022 Ranger VX 1888 walkthrough um, with a 225 Mercury four-stroke XL in the back. Um, biggest motor you can get. Uh, didn't go with the Pro XS, but this ought to move it right along pretty good. Um, so on the back, you got that. You got a nice boarding ladder here. It's a three-step boarding ladder. Not much, but on those hot days when you want to jump in, it works good enough to get you in and out. Um, I already had the wife and kids out on it. It works pretty good. Um, they clambered up and are able to you know, hang on the back of the boat. Uh, my kids love the extra-wide gunnels here. Um, to jump off, as you see how wide they are, I mean, it's my hand, and um, they're they're pretty big. I mean, you can just stand on the side of the boat, no problem. Uh, I went with the woven floor on this model, just um, just for you know, fishing and with the kids and stuff. I figured it easier in the carpet. Um, I've had plenty of fishing boats, and this holds up really well, um, especially if you get any stains or anything. You can just wipe, you know, scrub it down, wipe it out. Um, so for the most part, it does pretty well. Um, all right, so one thing I'll, I'll say from the factory, I just picked this boat up two weeks ago. Um, they must throw everything in the bottom of this boat, and I guess they don't have a shop pack because when I pulled the drain plug out the first time, it was just full of metal shavings. I'll actually show you a picture of it here. I mean, that was... That all came out of the bottom of the boat. Um, you know, I tried to get as much out as possible because I don't want it getting plugged up in the bilge. Um, so it's just something to think about if you buy one of these boats. Um, it does come with nice, uh, the boat buckles on the back, um, uh, makes it real easy to, to ratchet something down pretty quick. All right. Um, I went with a fusion blue. Um, I thought it looks pretty slick. All the seats have blue accents on them. The trailer, Ranger trail, trailer. Do a walk around here. Got your matching spare up front, which is nice. Um, nice boarding steps up front, which make it easy to get in and out, especially if you're older, like me. Um, swing away tongue takes about uh, two and a half to three feet off, so as you can see, I can fit it in my garage, no problem. Um, makes it easier for uh, storage. I upgraded to the Minkota Tarova, just uh, based off the fact that I wanted iPilot and something a little bigger. Um, so this ought to do the trick, 80 pound, 24 volt. Um, it comes, I think the 2023 models actually come with a Tarova now stock. Um, so they finally thought that one out. All right, I'll turn around this side here. The trailer, I say, the trailer is pretty well built. It's pretty heavy duty. You look at these, these these things are sturdy, man. You can't even move them. And they're, uh, it's pretty thick. I mean, they're, it's, it's pretty good. It's bolted around there really well. Um, transom saver that comes with the boat and uh, gas gauge here. You got these flip up cleats, there's three on each side, kind of nice, makes it easy. Um, you got the gun wide gunnels here with the, the grip, so if you do want to jump in or step in, you're, gonna, you're not going to slip too much. Um, the consoles here are this nice uh, fiberglass. Shiny, sparkly, makes it look uh, really nice, you know, in the sunlight, especially if the sunlight hits it, it's, it's really nice. So we'll hop up in here in a second, and uh, I'll give you a show around inside. Hold on. All right, stepping in. Um, you got the front here. You have your um, front here. I, now, I didn't get a, light, a fish finder up front here, but you can get a fish finder mount here. It's all wired for it. Um, you got accessory switches here. You got um, your anchor lights and stuff like that. You got your trim control for your motor right here. Um, you got stuff for your fish, um, tools and stuff like that um, that you can keep right there. A couple of storage options. Um, it's got rod storage up here, so you can fit uh, three rods up under each side. It's kind of nice. You can stick them right there. Um, both sides have it. I keep a net over here. Um, 
you got your foot control your foot uh, pedal under here nice get the door over it so it keeps everything down there um store here you got some more small storage right there um it's pretty deep so you can fit quite a bit of stuff in there from the get a little bait well here um aerator pump out and stuff like that in there it's pretty small but um you know good for some smaller bait and stuff like that this side here is the big compartment you can fit a lot of stuff in there i got i got my life jackets and stuff like that in here but i keep all my stuff in there and it's uh plenty of room so um ranger does throw a, a wiring diagram on there for the boats which is kind of nice if you had to go through and find everything as far as all the fuses and stuff like that so it is kind of nice all right we walk through the windshield here Going back in the floor here, you have a in-floor cooler, cooler or storage, but uh, it drains out to the bottom of the boat, so I'll probably more stuck use it for a uh, cooler. It's kind of deep and fits some fit everything right in there nicely. Um, up under the the dashboard here, you got these compartments uh, with mesh in them. They're pretty deep. I mean, you could fit quite a bit of stuff in there as far as tackle boxes or stuff like that to keep out of your way. Um, both sides have them. So you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, it does come with an Infinity sound system. Um, you know, it's kind of sharp looking for a fishing boat. But uh, the radio is over here mounted on the passenger side. Um, you have the Infinity. Uh, it's Bluetooth and Sirius ready, so you're good to go with that. Um, you got your grab handles and stuff for everyone around here. Glove box. Um, not huge, but big enough to put stuff in. Uh, coming over to the driver's side, you have your gauges, um, you have water pressure, you have RPM, you got your speedometer with uh, your trim gauge built in, and also your fuel gauge here. Um, stock, it comes with a Lowrance Hook 5. Um, one thing I think that Ranger does chip on is you spend $60,000 on a boat and you get crappy electronics. Um, so I will be upgrading to probably something a little bigger like a nine inch or a 12 inch um to fill the space in here and make it a little more a little better here um steering wheel is nice um it's got uh c star hydraulic steering um it is all tilt wheel tilts everywhere you want to tilt all right uh, over here on the side you have all your all your buttons here so you got your horn you got your anchor lights, navigation lights, uh, your live wells. Uh, you have interior lights here that light up inside the interior. You have pump outs for your live well. You have your radio. You have um, your bilge pump and two accessory switches that are wired in. Uh, in your addition here, and a spot to hold your cell phone um, on each side. Cup holders at the bottom. Um, you have USB ports and uh ports for your um cigarette lighter attachment um this is they mounted my uh fire extinguisher right there which i feel is kind of weird uh, i would rather put it up under here somewhere where it's out of the way so i'll probably move with that shortly um, i just don't like the fact that it's right on the floor where i'm gonna kick it and stuff like that um over on the side here we have a small little compartment here um, you know, it doesn't really hold much. I just keep some some spare tools and stuff in there in case I got a flat tire or something like that. Um, I really do like the seats. The seats are pretty pretty sharp, I tell you what. Um, I love love the looks of them. Um, they seem very well made, very well put together. Um, and they're very comfortable too. So, um, comes with four seats, uh, which you can move about, move about if you want. Put one up front, put one in the back um and stuff like that so uh passenger side hit this again you got a, a cell phone holder for the passenger side same thing uh charging ports usb port here cup holder um you also have uh so storage here on the side the gunnels um has room for three or four poles in there um i think they're in hold like a seven footer you got your paddle in there you got your lights and all that good stuff so that goes up in there quite a ways like i said you can store some some poles so i keep all my my bigger rods in there 
but for the most part, it's kind of nice it's out of the way. Um, you got grab panels on the side for your passengers. Hit the rough water, it's kind of nice. Um, you come back to the back of the boat. You have rod holders, you have cup holders, you have trays for your tools, trays for your uh, lures you're not using. Uh, they do give you a nice little 24-inch uh, measuring stick here. Um, just in case you're catching something, you throw it on there quick. Center live well in the back. All right, aeration, pump outs, all that good stuff. Um, it's a pretty good size. Um, one thing I wish I had is a light. It does not have a light. Um, I know the trackers have lights in them, but uh, this does not have a light. So um, as far as up here, it tells you this little red nozzle here, if you're not familiar with these pump out features, um, which I was not, and I had to kind of figure it out the hard way. Um, so they put a little sticker here, it tells you. Um, if you pull it out, it turns into a recirculator. If you push it in, it, uh, it'll do a pump out. So, um, something to know. So back here, you got your seats. Um, these are flip-up seats here. Kind of nice, real, real high backs. Um, I like that for the kids because it kind of holds them in there. They sit there and they, they're no problem. Under both back seats, you do have storage. Um, one thing I can tell you is, you know, my kids were getting in and out of the boat the other day crawling in from the ladder standing here and all the water ran down this crack and where does it go it goes down here and it filled this compartment up and before i knew it i had three or four inches of water back here and there's only one tiny little drain hole and it's in the side right there and it's kind of covered up by the plastic so i'm probably going to drill something else here just so it, it drains a little bit so um just be mindful if you put something back here, it's probably gonna get wet. Um, so it's not really not really a dry storage. But that is nice. Um, battery compartment in the back left rear. Uh, it comes with the Optima uh, marine battery, which is nice. Three bank charger, which is stuffed down there with all the wiring, which uh, you know, I might be uh, trying to move some stuff around and make it a little neater. It looks a little messy for my liking. It's just jammed in there. It's hard to see anything. Um, does have a shut off switch here master power switch and your fuse block there you can shut it off um, i do like that feature just so i can shut everything off um you know keep keep the boat from, from uh having issues so make sure you do that um i added the feature here for a tow bar a, a ski a ski tow bar um so they, they incorporate that into the back of the boat they weld some stuff in there to, to make it uh pretty stout and the ski bar goes right in the back there. Um, you also have three ports for your seat if you want your seat there. So you can have your three seat in three different positions if you want to. Um, just be mindful, the motor has to be down because if you have the motor up, your seat will not fit there. So um, you'd have to move the seat once you're fishing. So unless you want to ruin your brand new cow on your nice new motor. That's a no-no. Uh, back right, we have under storage here. It's got a drain in the bottom of it. I keep all my, uh, you know, my Rapalas and stuff like that in the back here that I don't really care if they get wet. They're all in the steel containers, so not a big deal. Um, same thing with this side. You got the seat here. Um, storage, some small storage in the bottom. It uh, doesn't hold much, but, you know, holds something. Uh, if I showed you guys this one, there's a small little storage up front here. Just small enough I keep some of my smaller baits in here, but you can hold some smaller tackle boxes in there. So um for the most part, it's um for the most part, like I said, it's um it's well built. I like the I like the accents and everything is everything is put together very well. Um I've heard some nightmare horror, horror stories about people having issues with uh the fit and finish, but this one seems like it was built pretty well. Um the back is real nice and clean back here as far as all the connections. It really makes it really nice. So um, I do like the new Mercury's. The fact that, you know, you just press this little button right here now and everything opens up. You can do your oil change. Uh, check your oil. I'm sorry. Check your oil and uh, top it off. And then uh, to pop the cowling off, you just grab the little red button right there and pull the lever up. And the whole thing comes right up, which is really slick. Um, makes it easy instead of trying to wrap your arms around this thing and horse it off there. So, um, you know, I, I would say if you're going to buy this thing, I mean, I would go with the woven floor. It's really nice. 
really easy to maintain um, anti-slip it doesn't get hot you know it's a lighter color um, and I, I just I really enjoy it so um, besides that I think that's about it uh, if anyone's got any questions just hit me up and I'll let you, I'll try and answer them for you um, I forgot here we got the I'm sorry about that middle lot middle rod locker here so you got this this piece here the deck extension um, which you can remove it um, it slides up basically and I'll show you just slides over so you can take it out if you wanted to so you can take that out opens it up so you can get to your rod lockers I keep it in it's not too bad um, you know it just slides in there and uh, it's pretty pretty easy to, to deal with so so I leave it I leave it hooked up so I like to have my full full platform up front um, rod lockers here really big really deep lockers and whole lighter poles uh, I keep all my stuff in there and if you can see in the middle here uh, right where the hole is so under there is all your uh, you pop that up and it's a compartment that holds all your um, your two troll motor batteries um, so they're all wired up there. You also have a fuse block right there for your troll motor batteries. But, um, you got six rod lockers up here, six holes. You could probably fit two in each one if you wanted to, so you can fit plenty of rods. This boat has no shortage of storage for rods. I mean, you could fit so much in here and, um, more than, more than you need. So really no complaints there. Um, I do like the front the front casting deck is nice and big. I mean, you have plenty of room. The big wide gunnels carry all the way through, and um, it just it's on the water. This thing is it's sturdy. It doesn't even move. It holds. It takes the big water very well. Um, I went from a 16 foot tracker to this, and it's it's night and day. So um, I got to say, if you're looking at upgrading something bigger, this thing is the way to go. Um, it's it's nice aluminum heavy boat, but it handles the waves really well you know for not being a fiberglass boat you wouldn't know it it handles them really well so all right well that's it for this one um at least if you guys have any questions just hit me up and we'll uh we'll answer questions for you take it easy